My name is R. Crosby Lyles, and this is news from the can. This is the species that I'm looking for right here. Um, and this is what um, just got yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, I was stung by a uh, wasp. So I know that there's there's plenty of wasps around. Mosquitoes. I haven't seen any flies. I haven't seen any drain flies. I've heard reports about gnats, moths. This is what's missing. Oh, here's another one. Ants. We have reports, a report from Michigan, a man on a farm who was raising pigs, chickens, and geese. Uh, he noticed that he had no flies, even in the pig trough, in the pig mud, which is, you know, flies love dung. They love certain areas of chicken farms and, and pig farms. He noticed no flies, and another thing that he noticed was no ants. Got my ducks over there. And there's feed stretched all the way across this the mud puddle where they come over and mix the water in. Usually this area would be covered with flies joining in on the free feed and degrading feed and, of course, duck too. But, as you can see, nothing here. No flies. Pig feeder out in the field again. That's fly heaven. Usually the flies like, again, sharing. Nothing going on here. Over here is the watering hole. And of course, bath hole. Usually, of course, flies will come around and enjoy some of this, but a couple of little mud bees is all I've seen since I started doing this. So, right here, hill right there right there they're all fresh because they're just loose mounds right now but no ants working not one ant so it's like they push up to have a start but their days are short so those are observations that he made as a farmer this is where he works every day this is where he goes to work, so he's very familiar with his surroundings. And I can assure you, growing up as a kid, I've been around uh, places like this before, and trust me, they are loaded with flies. Flies love this type of stuff. And for there not to be any uh, flies here, this is free food. Free food. They love this right here. For there not to be one fly, he's right. That is very unusual. And he's been tending to this farm for many, many years. And this is the first time he's ever noticed no flies. And he also noticed no ants. So what does this mean? Um, and the reason that I'm showing this layout of the different orders and things like that is, is their relationships. So if you have wasps and no ants, then, you know, you when you think about disease, you know, if there's a disease that would affect flies, you know, why would it affect flies and ants but not wasps? And what I can think of is that, I don't know, it might be a how it is it what they consume. You know, flies and ants, they kind of sort of eat the same, they eat, the same stuff, you know what I mean? It may maybe that the maybe the areas that they you know ants are on the ground. They're very closely associated with surfaces, whereas wasps not so much. So, um, yeah, moths eat eat uh, fabric and things like that. So, could be you know have something to do with what they eat, or it might be nothing. It might just be that we have a drought. But I have noticed that I haven't seen as many ants lately as well so looking for feedback um and looking for anyone out there to you know make your observations and if you see anything unusual um leave a comment if you don't see anything unusual if you say hey we got plenty of house flies over here then i want to know about it and the reason this is important just to reiterate something i remember to this day after the three mile island meltdown 
um, 60 Minutes ran a segment where a woman had written in talking about flies, that she lived near Three Mile Island and everything was fine and dandy, but there were no flies. Her whole letter was about the absence of flies. Flies are like a canary in the coal mine, in a sense. When flies begin to disappear, there's usually some something going on in the environment that causes them to disappear, and I believe it's the same thing with ants. Ants are very, very aware of the weather. They will burrow down if there's, you know, with changes in barometric pressure to avoid rain because rain is very hard on, on ants. So... See, this is garbage can, and sitting on top of our garbage can is a piece of watermelon with some sugar that I put on top of it. And you can see there's no flies, no flies. Now, we are having a 100-year drought, from what I understand, which could impact things. Because I don't, you know, hysterics, I will, you know, want to maintain balance and perspective. And uh, we don't, you know, I don't want to gin up any, any hysterics. But what prompted this is um, a video that I saw the other day. Uh, there's a farmer in Michigan who has, grows pigs and, and chickens and geese. And uh, it's an organic farm. Link is in the description. There's no flies. At least at that particular time, there was no flies. And he also said that the ants would start to make ant hills, and then they would just stop. So he didn't have any ants either. Come to think of it, I don't see any ants either. But anyway, I saw this video, and I thought, and it, and it, and it was kind of disturbing because. I realized, you know, I, I, I had this unsettled feeling that, you know, I hadn't seen any flies in a long time myself. It just, it just dawned on me, you know, I really haven't seen any flies lately. Uh, and there's no mosquitoes either, which of course, it's we're having a hundred year drought, and we're in Florida. This is Gainesville, Florida. This is a hundred year drought, apparently. I thought I heard someone say earlier, and it's been rather dry lately. It rained a little bit yesterday, I believe, but. Um, for there to be just absolutely no flies is unusual. I mean, we have flies in the house, even sometimes. No fruit flies. The only thing that I've seen are moths. Um, I've heard reports. I haven't. I haven't uh, felt any myself, but I have heard reports that there are gnats and um, definitely wasps. Because I was just stung yesterday by a wasp, and um, I don't see. I don't see any ants. I don't see any flies. I would like to hear from other people, and uh, I'm asking folks out there around the country and around the world to, to just kind of take a look out there and sort of take a census of the, the insects that you see, the insect life. And does it seem like you have the appropriate kind and number of flies and kind and number of ants and a kind and number of any, any number of other insects? Because flies, in a way, house flies. We're talking about house flies, ordinary house flies here. Uh, I don't know what the genus is. I don't know what the species is exactly, but they're ordinary house flies. Sometimes house flies can be like a canary in the coal mine. Again, I don't want to fan the flames of hysteria of any kind, but it would be good to know um, if there's anything afoot here. You know, it's like, you know, Chris Cornell just killed himself the other day. Chris Cornell is about six six months younger than me, and uh, guy had everything to live for, and you know it just it's just that and the you know everything going on with the methane releases and you know the, the the methane feedback loop in the Arctic and all this stuff. It's just you know there's just a it's a feeling, and you know feelings aren't news. 
That's very important for me to say. I need to say that. Feelings are not news, and they're not substance. They're not substantive. It's just a feeling. But boy, I'll tell you, you know, this thing with the, the flies and... You know, and I mean, Chris Cornell, they, people kill themselves all the time. But I don't know, it's just this just this feeling that the shit is really hitting the fan for real. That this is like, you know, the shit really isn't hitting the fan until it hits the fan where you live. You know what I mean? So, maybe it's nothing. You know, like I said, we're having a hundred year drought here. It could just be that it's dry. But I would like some feedback from y'all out there. Uh, you know, uh, Get in touch with your anybody out there who's around organic material like manure or works at a dump or if you visit a dump or if you work at a restaurant and you throw garbage in the in the dumpster or whatever, just kind of sort of take notice and see if there are any flies. If you notice that there are, you know, that there's something, any sort of unusual um, situation with flies or other insects, ants, anything like that might be nothing and again it's always a good idea to keep an eye on this kind of stuff you know and the fact that we've got the person that we've got in the Oval Office you know it's 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 the it's what I call the Irwin Allen effect or the Irwin Allen syndrome you know the shit only hits the fan it, it, the shit hits the when it rains it pours let me say it like that the shit hits the fan at the worst possible moment. You know, when you have the worst possible person at the helm, you know. <laughs> yeah, you have the worst possible person at the helm, but that's when the shit hits the fan, you know. The shit hits the fan, you know, when, when it rains, it pours. So anyway, that's it. Um, take a look around your world and, and uh, leave a comment. Uh, you know, message me. Um, Send me an email, or Crosby Lyles at gmail.com. And uh, maybe, it's, like I said, maybe it's nothing. It might be nothing. But let's find out. Y'all uh, take care out there. And uh, tell the people in your life you love them and, you know, Give the people that out there that need a hug a hug and stay safe. That's all I got. My name is R. Crosby Lyles and this is the news from the can. Thanks for watching. See you.